Welcome back to our frequently asked choice grid questions. Um, so in our first clip, we talked about how to share grids or copy grids, remix them. Another question we are getting a lot of is how do you create transparent shapes with a hidden link in them? So this actually came from one of the first choice grids I made. I know people were clicking and I had linked the text and the background, but they couldn't um, always get there unless they clicked exactly where I had put the link. So the transparent shape just made it a bit more easy for them to navigate, which right now is what we're all looking for. So let's just go into Google so I can show you that. So I have my choice grid here and I have my three objects I want to hyperlink. So I'm just going into my shapes, just like I did with the background and drawing a shape. Uh, that shape isn't transparent yet, so I'm going to go to my fill bucket and make it transparent. And I'm also going to make the border transparent, just so they don't, it's a little hidden gem for me. Now again, I'm a little lazy, so to speed this up, I'm going to control C and control V, however you like to copy and paste, just so that I can get all of those transparent shapes done quickly. Okay, so I have my three transparent shapes. They're on top, I wanna add the links. So I'm going to control and link. I'm just gonna go grab the link, copy it and paste it in. Don't forget to sit, hit apply or it won't uh, attach the link. So let's do that again. I have this guy here. So I'm gonna right click, control click on a Mac, link, drop that link in and apply. Now, if you're really excited, really fast, um, by accident, you may just paste the link right into your transparent shape, which is more than uh, okay if you like putting the link in there, no worries with that. But if you don't like that look, just remember to right click and go to the link. Uh, because it's a shape, it can still hold text. Uh, that's why it's holding that link for you. And apply. So now all of my links are attached and the students can click anywhere in that area to get to that link. So that's a bit about transparent shapes. Hopefully that was helpful. If you wanna chat more about choice grids or you're interested in hearing a bit more of the story, on Tuesday we'll be doing a webinar with Can Code to Learn. And on Wednesday night, we're gonna, for happy hour, we're gonna work our way and take your questions around choice grids. So you can join us at either of those. Uh, you do need to register for the webinar, so go to CanCode to learn to get more details. Have a great day, folks.